Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2 along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay. So today we're going to continue on the uh, cycles concept, um, discussing that, and we're going to look at a little program, a little example that they provide that accepts cycles from a wallet. So let's get started. Um, so you may need to accept cycles from a wallet to, you know, have functions receive uh, cycles or whatever you need to do and um, this is the program now what was interesting here and honestly I don't know what the difference is is they seem to have two versions of the exact same program and I just noticed that when I started uh, looking at this again this afternoon so we have, um, we, we uh, have the NAT64 library. Um, we have cycles, which is the experimental cycles. And um, NAT is like a base 64 number. And, um, we have a couple of methods here, one that returns the balance of the wallet, one that uh, returns the cycles received up to the capacity allowed. So this lets it receive uh, cycles, uh, a greet, and uh, an owner. And um, this is, appears to be a duplicate here. So, those are the main uh, methods here. And, of course, the most important one is cycles receive. It's uh, asynchronous. I'm just going back and forth, making sure they're the same. Um, so, we have the amount, which is the cycles available, the limit, which is the capacity, which we, we set initially minus the balance, so that's how much more you can get. Accepted if the amount is less than limit the amount, otherwise the limit, so you can't accept too much. The deposit is what accepted is, cycles.accept, again using that cycles library, and assert is make sure that deposit and accepted are the same. We add accepted, and then we, um, from accepted, we get a NAT64 object. So, the first thing I did when I started um, doing this, I tried to do it first. I did it two ways. I did it command line. So let's took a, take a look at that. Um, so I started as we've done before, cycles hello, does all that, and uh, tells you I made a typo when I first tried to put paste the code. All I really did is, is uh, change main mo to be the code that we just saw. Um, then I did did it again, and got it correct, finally. <laughs> Basically started over, you know, deleted that, um, delete, deleted the code and then create, created a new file. And um, it then worked. And uh, you can now uh, run the, uh, the canister. So let's see here. Let's 
see here, the second way I did it, um, well, before, so, while it received, um, my DFX, uh, I gotta remember what the, I always try running it. Um, let's try this first, just to make sure it's working. So it's going to go off and tell you who the principal is. And <clears throat> wallet balance. characters here. Uh, it's going to do it again because I had an extra character there. And that's going to show us our wallet palace, which should be zero. And I don't know if this is going to work. This is going to, let's see, do this. This is sending. You notice it's zero net and it's sending. Okay. So it's calling from a another wallet. But um, you get the idea. It should come out with um, the amount that we put in, uh, but we, we are calling it from, probably from a, a wallet that doesn't exist. So, uh, let's see, I think there is a command that lets you find out what wallets are there, but we're going to move on just for, for time. You just need to have a correct, um, correct wallet. And now we're going to do this. We did the same thing uh, with, uh, in the playground. So let's go over here to the playground. As you can see, I have it in here. Cop did a little copy paste. And, um, let's deploy it again. Uh, hopefully this will work. Getting, okay, this is looking promising. So we're essentially doing the same thing. As you can see, it deployed. And um, um, the owner. And the wallet balance. And let's see what happens when I do this. Except it equals zero. Um, let me see something. We have a canister that's been deployed. Let me find the, the right command here. Um, yeah, TFX canister call 
who am I? I think it's ID. You see, I know what we called. Now, it doesn't seem to know about that. Okay. What? No, I'm surprised that it's not um, picking it up. I was just trying it in another window. But, um, yeah, if you have a wallet ID, then you are able to um, actually... Uh, put stuff in and then then this wallet receive would be a different you know would be other than zero but the the whole idea is of this whole thing is that um you have a wallet you need to transfer funds to a application so that it can do whatever it needs to do to a canister because remember in the internet computer for a canister to run, it needs cycles. So it's just like you're buying cycles or you're buying computing power on AWS, except you're doing it ahead of time. You're not um, doing it uh, like, or, or you're not getting a bill at the end of the, at the end of the month. You're doing it as you, you have to provide the money upfront, if you will. So um, hopefully this gives you a bit more insight into cycles and how that's going to how that works, and this is why an application or methods like these are um, would be used in the um, in the internet computer and in canisters that are going to do work. Why you might need to include these types of methods. So. Um, if this has been helpful, um, please give a like. Uh, please uh, share it with your friends who, who might find it interesting uh, so more people can learn. Uh, please subscribe so, and ring the bell so you'll get future videos. And um, I do have those, the survey and report out. And uh, those, if you sign up for the, uh, if, if if you do the survey and fill it out and put it and provide your email on either of those, you'll get the uh, weekly newsletter. So um, no spam, a weekly newsletter that I that I'm hope provides value. So anyway, that's all for now. Uh, take care.